Hello everybody, today we have Asus Republic of Gamers gaming laptop. It's an 8th gen laptop with G NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 graphics card. We'll see what we can replace, fix or upgrade on that machine. I'm pretty sure whoever has it, they like it because it's nice screen, 120 Hz refresh rate. All right, let's start. So to open the bottom, you need Pentalob P5 screwdriver. Unscrew all the screws from the bottom. All the screws are out. Let's take out the bottom. We have to pry it out here. out here we have the part number for this part and now as you can see this laptop has a hard drive and SSD drive I'm pretty sure that the system is installed on the SSD drive and the, all the data is on the hard drive here we have two slots for the memory let's take out the memory let's see what we have here that's a DDR4 memory. Look for this number if you are planning on buying the replacement or upgrade. Let's take out the battery first. And here we need regular Phillips screwdriver. Here we have the cable for the battery. Stop. So to disconnect the battery connector, press on those two black little squares and then pull it up. Okay, the battery is out. Here we have the model number for the battery if you're look, looking for to replace it. All right, let's disconnect the Wi Fi card. So, start with disconnecting antennas. Oh, one is already free. That's the second one. Look 
for the part number here. All right, now let's take out the hard drive and the SSD drive. So to take out the hard drive, unscrew those rails to carry, and then you will take out the hard drive from the carry. So four screws on the sides. Now pull it up. Here we have the connector for the hard drive. Okay. And now you have to keep the rails. If you are planning on replacing the hard drive, just unscrew it here. On the sides. That's our caddy for the hard drive. That's our hard drive and that's the connector. So disconnect it here and keep it for keep it for the replacement. And that's how the hard drive looks like. Okay. Now let's take care of the SSD drive. So here we have one screw under that sticker. Once you have the screw out, just lift it gently, slide it out from the connector, and that's your SSD drive. It's only 128 gigabytes, so you may like to upgrade it to the bigger one. Okay, now let's disconnect fan connector. Pull it out. One and the second one here. Okay. Let's unscrew fan and heat sink assembly. One screw here under the warranty sticker. So it looks like we have to unscrew hinges in order to free the fan. The same on the other side. Let's see if we can lift it up. Okay, lift the hinge. Because the goal is to not to bend the heat sink. If you bend it, you have to replace it. And it may be stuck here on the graphics card GPU and the CPU. There is a cooling paste. After time, it may harden and kind of work as a glue.
Okay, let's pull out first the heat sink. Because something is holding us here. Alright, the heat sink is out. It's pretty dirty, so if you have problem with cooling, it's worth to clean it up with like spray, air spray. Same with fans. If they are dirty like that, for sure clean them. One more screw here for the fan. And here. So both fans are out. Here we have part numbers. That's one. And that's the other one. Part number is here. <clears throat> Unplug the video cable for the screen. And by the way, that's a part number here. And pull it out. Disconnect the keyboard and the touch pad. Now and then speaker connector right here. Okay. Now unscrew a few screws for the motherboard and we should be able to take it out. Motherboard is out. Here we have the part number. You can take out the speakers. Part number for the speaker. And now that we have everything out of the way, let's take out the keyboard assembly. Okay, that's our keyboard. And again, it's riveted to the harmless assembly. So if you, if you have bad keyboard, you have to replace it, then look for the whole part and check this part number. This one or this one. Okay, now we have screen left, 120 hertz refresh rate, very good for your eyes, bezel pops out very easily, part number for the bezel, now let's see if these four screws will be responsible to help hold the screen. Now let's see if we can lift it. It's perfect. There is no adhesive, so it's easy to take out the screen. Here we just have to disconnect this video cable. Slide it out. Oops. 
Here we have the model number for the screen. That's what you are looking for if you have to replace it. And that's it. All the components are out. Here we have hinges, webcam, if you need to replace the webcam. And that's the part number for the back cover. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.